what a discovery in London, just near uh, downtown London. 39 people dead inside of a truck container. This is at an industrial park 30 minutes west of London. It happened this morning. Police arrested a 25-year-old man from Northern Ireland in connection with the deaths. Detectives say the driver entered England from Bulgaria last Saturday. It's not clear yet whether or not the victims were from Bulgaria or why they were in the container, were they being smuggled. They're still investigating. Police are now working on identifying the 39 people. One was a teenager. Well, our reporter Ty Genwright is at the scene of this investigation at the Waterglade Industrial Park in the English town of Grays, and he joins me now. Well, good evening to you, Ty. Well, we're just hearing from one police officer there on that investigation. Uh, what's the latest? Hi, Isabel. Well, we're told the investigation will take some time and uh, police say that the very hardest part will be to uh, identify those who were found in this lorry trailer. There's no word as to their nationality, uh, no word confirmed as to their ethnicity either. Uh, and police have said that they want the public's help, both the public in the UK and outside, to help identify the route that this truck took. Now, the investigation's focus changed within just a few hours of it becoming public. Police originally suggested that this truck had actually come uh, from Ireland, but it later said that actually it was the trailer which contained the remains of these 39 deceased people actually came from Zeebrugge in Belgium, uh, arriving uh, at a nearby port here uh, per fleet in the early hours of the morning. Uh, it was only the driver's cab, known in the industry as the tractor, which originated in Northern Ireland. And as you say, its 25-year-old driver uh, was uh, arrested on suspicion of murder. The fact that there were officers here today, not just from the police, but also the UK's National Crime Agency, uh, does suspect that there is a strong suspicion that this was a case of human trafficking because those are the officers who are responsible for investigating organised crime. So that seems to be a definite line of inquiry for the time being. And Ty, this is such a shocking, kind of disturbing discovery. You're at the scene. How are people reacting? Yeah, I mean, although this, Isabel, is an industrial area, there are very few people living nearby, understandably people working nearby, uh, who I spoke to today were quite uh, upset by what they'd seen. We did see some residents come from far away to leave uh, floral tributes for the, those who died, and uh, this is what one of them told me. I couldn't I could believe it. It's so close to home and then poor people, you know, this world's getting worse. It's getting worse. It's just a sad place that we all live in now, to be honest. Now, some of the people who work here said that they were obviously upset, but not necessarily surprised. They're, this is a logistics hub. There's lots of trucks passing through here, and some said that they had seen migrants getting out of trucks before. And it obviously underlines uh, an ongoing problem for the haulage industry, that stowaways trafficking happens on an almost daily basis, but it only comes into focus when it goes horribly wrong, like it has now. We start with a tragedy unfolding in the UK. Police say 39 people have been found dead in a truck container near London. The vehicle was found at the Waterglade Industrial Park close to docks on the River Thames. The truck is believed to have come from Bulgaria. The driver has been arrested on suspicion of murder. Police say they are still trying to identify the victims. The vehicle is thought to have entered the UK last weekend. And we can speak to our London correspondent, Charlotte Potts. She's following this story for us and joins us on the line. Uh, Charlotte, what do we know so far about the story? So we are on our way to the scene right now to get a pic better picture of uh, what happened there, Sumi. But what we know so far is that emergency services were called to the Waterglade Industrial Park in a small town in the county of Essex, uh, an hour east of central London, and that was shortly before 1.40 a.m. last night following this discovery of a lorry container with people inside. And sadly, 39 people were pronounced dead at the scene. Police say that 38 of the bodies are adults and one is a teenager. And of course, at this point, the inquiries are still ongoing, but authorities are in the process of identifying the victims. They anticipate, however, that this could be a 
quite a lengthy process. And I think what's important to note is that authorities believe that this lorry is from Bulgaria and entered the United Kingdom at Holyhead, that's a small town in Wales and a major Irish seaport on Saturday, the 19th of October, so four days ago already. And the driver, a 25-year-old man from Northern Ireland, has been arrested on the suspicion of murder. They have arrested him um, in connection with this incident, and he remains in police custody. They are inquiring, of course, as to what has happened there. And, of course, I think the big question now is whether uh, those that were fi- found inside that truck were refugees. Authorities have not confirmed that, but it does remind us of this horrific incident in Austria in 2015 at the height of the refugee crisis back then in Europe, where over 70 people were found dead inside an abandoned truck. All right, our correspondent Shalata Potts speaking to us uh, from uh, near London. She's on her way to the scene there. Thank you so much, Shalata. To the story that is breaking in Britain now, as you look live at an industrial park from a helicopter, so we don't control these shots, but as uh, you see them, what I'll tell you is this is where it's happening, an industrial park about an hour outside London in Essex, in Greys in Essex, the discovery of 39 bodies in the back of that transport truck that you are looking at right there. We've already had a news briefing within the last hour from the deputy police constable from Essex. She didn't release a whole lot of new detail, uh, but she did call this an absolute tragedy and said that they have made one arrest. Renee Filippone is watching all of this, actually going to be heading to that scene shortly. But bring us up to date, Renee, on what we learned from police just a short time ago. Well, hello. Police are not elaborating much from the initial statement they released this morning. We know that ambulance services alerted police around 1.40 this morning about the situation. And when officers arrived, they found a truck with 39 bodies, 38 adults and one teenager. And in the aerials, you can see the red truck with the white container. Investigators are surrounding it now. And the work for them will be to find out who the victims are and how they ended up dead in that container. Have a listen to the Deputy Chief Constable. At this stage, we have not identified where the victims are from or their identities, and we anticipate this could be a lengthy process. This is an absolute tragedy and very sad day for Essex Police and the local community. We will continue to work alongside many other partner agencies to find out what led to these deaths. A 25-year-old man from Northern Ireland has been arrested on suspicion of murder. He's being held in custody. And here's what we know, Heather, about the origins of the truck so far. Police say it came from Bulgaria, a country within the EU. It entered the United Kingdom on October 19th. That's four days ago at Hollyhead, which is a port in Wales on the west coast. Now, that port normally services ferries from Ireland. It ended up in this industrial area in the eastern part of the country. So the majority of questions right now are focused on the nationality of these victims, where the truck came from, where it was going, if this could have anything to do with human trafficking. But at this point, police are not answering those questions, but asking anyone with information to contact them. So uh, we're going to obviously be bringing any new detail that comes in. We are starting to hear from official reaction. What are uh, people like the prime minister saying, Renee? Well, this morning we have heard from Home Secretary Priti Patel, and she said, you know, she is shocked and and saddened by this and is calling on the public to give police space to do their work. A large area of the industrial of the industrial area has been cordoned off and it will be like that for some time. Now, Prime Minister Boris Johnson sent out a tweet not long after news broke. He said, I'm appalled by this tragic incident in Essex. My thoughts are with all those who lost their lives and their loved ones. And we're getting reaction from local politicians in the area who are drawing connections at this point to human trafficking. But again, this is something the police aren't commenting on. And it is still unclear, as I mentioned before, who these people are, who these victims are, and how they ended up dead in this container. Renee, thank you very much. Renee Filippone from London this morning. Hello and welcome to Euro News Now. Thanks very much for joining us. The discovery has sent shockwaves across the UK. British police have found the bodies of 39 people in a lorry container east of London. Essex police say the lorry was found early this morning at the Waterglade Industrial Park in Greys. The victims and their origin have not yet been identified. We believe the lorry is from Bulgaria 
and came into the UK through Holyhead on the 19th of October. Emergency services attended, but sadly all 39 people inside the container had died. Early indications suggest that one of these people was a teenager, the rest are believed to be adults. A murder investigation was launched and the lorry driver, a 25-year-old man from Northern Ireland, was arrested on suspicion of murder and remains in police custody. Well, our reporter, Ty Genwright, is in Essex for us and he joins me now live from there. So, Ty, um, what do we know about where this truck came from and how it was able to get into the UK? Hi there. Well, police uh, say that they believe this truck originated in Bulgaria and its last uh, recorded sighting was at the port of Holyhead, which is in North Wales. Now, that is where ferries come into the UK from Dublin. It's certainly not a direct route from Bulgaria. And indeed, uh, haulage industry leaders who've been talking about this case today say it certainly would be very unorthodox for a truck to take this route. It could have taken uh, anything up the, to five days for to make that kind of a journey. Now, what we know for sure is, is limited. The fact that there are were 39 people found, sadly dead, um, uh, on board this, uh, this vehicle. We don't know their uh, nationality. The authorities say they don't know their nationality. They're not commenting as to their ethnicity. Uh, and there's nothing to say for certain whether indeed they travelled all the way from Bulgaria. Of course, anybody who's been following the migrant crisis will tell you, truckers tell you it happens every day, people trying to get on board their vehicles. It could have happened at any point uh, along the route from there to hear uh, and that's why police are appealing for information from the public anyone who had seen this truck or knew anything about his route to get in touch with them to help with their investigation but one line of inquiry is that this could be a case of people trafficking and we've been hearing from the british prime minister boris johnson saying he has been appalled by this tragedy and that those responsible for people trafficking should be hunted down and brought to justice Yeah, that's right. Uh, he's gone further than the police in terms of pointing the finger at uh, people traffickers, but I think that certainly will be a logical first line uh, of inquiry. Uh, truckers, and there's plenty of them who come and go from this industrial area every day, is something they say happens to them uh, every single day. Uh, it is hard to imagine uh, a group of 39 people getting on board a vehicle like this without some kind of coordination. And we have officers here from the UK's National Crime Agency. They are here investigating any potential links to uh, organized crime. Now, of course, we've had five recorded deaths in transit in the UK since records began by the UN in 2014. Those records don't include the worst history uh, incident on record when 58 Chinese immigrants were found suffocated aboard a container in Dover. Of course, the issue is we hear about it when there are deaths. We don't hear about it when traf people who've been trafficked do manage to survive that journey. Uh, that's what witnesses here at this park have been telling us uh, today, although certainly, sadly, in this case, the people on board this truck did not get away with their lives. Indeed. Ty, thank you very much for that update.